So we talked about emptiness and we talked about uh, simultaneity, that two things can happen at the same time and both can be true. Two things can happen inside of you at the same time that see, seem opposed and both can be true. And in a sense, the root of suffering in my mind is the belief that you have to pick one and that you, you can't simultaneously hold both, that um, you, know, you desperately hate this person and want to get away from them and you're deeply obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> no one laughs at that one, but those, those often go hand in hand, or, you know, and then, and so there's this idea that this one has to win, not that a third you might develop to hold, to hold both simultaneously, and uh, that that is the promise in a sense, in my mind, that's one of, there are a few great promises and and I'm going to say the sacred as opposed to the spiritual. There are a few great promises in the sacred. And one of them is that you don't have to amputate. Mm -hmm. And when I, I first heard that idea, I was blown away. You know, I have my family's Catholic. And then I went into Zen and there was very much a cutting philosophy in this idea that all of it, all of me, all of this is not only included, but welcome was not only included and welcome, but um, demanded. <laughs> they, don't, they don't tell you that part in the small print. They don't say, you know, those things that you're actually happy aren't included, those you're going to have to include too. 